90% of cosmetic surgery procedures are performed on women, but there's still that 10% that is being done on guys. So in this video, we're gonna cover four of the hottest cosmetic genital procedures being done on men today. Have you heard of scrotox? Well, this is a funny term being used for injections of Botox into your scrotum. Now, when you inject Botox into your scrotum, it can cause the muscles that are right underneath the skin of the scrotum to relax. And what that can do then is it can help smooth the scrotum out and cause it to basically hang a little bit lower. Well, this is a procedure that is supposedly being done all throughout the country because I guess guys are wanting to have a smoother ball sack. And I'd like to read from an article in healthline.com that explains some of the claim benefits that people make when they are injecting Scrotox. According to them, Scrotox can make sex more pleasurable. They can cause your testicles to hang more loosely or hang lower, which makes sense. It can make your scrotum look bigger or more filled out. It can cause your scrotum to sweat less. So if you've got scrotum sweating issues, if you get real wet down there, then it can definitely help to reduce the sweating. And finally, it can help the wrinkles of your scrotum to look less noticeable. So if you are real self-conscious about having tons of wrinkles of your scrotum, then this is a treatment for you. So what do I think of the results of this procedure? Now I have seen photos of people who have had scrotox done, and it is a definite change. That scrotum, that ball sack, hangs much, much lower than it otherwise would. Unfortunately, my opinion is, is that when the scrotum hangs lower, it actually makes the penis look a little bit shorter. And therein lies the issue. Most guys don't necessarily want their wiener to look shorter even if their scrotum, I guess, looks bigger. I believe that scrotox is a bit of a fad procedure. It's a way for some doctors to get a little bit of press and publicity, but I can't imagine that that many guys are actually asking for this procedure. Scrotoplasty is a fancy term for essentially cutting out excess skin from the scrotum. This is a surgical procedure that honestly I have never done before, I've never seen before, but it sounds pretty straightforward. So why would somebody have this done? Well, there is an article on aidit.com, A-E-D-I-T, that explains some of the benefits of this scrotal lift or scrotoplasty procedure. It can help to improve the aesthetic appearance of the scrotum. It can improve the self-confidence and enhance the sex life. It can contribute to testicular support during intercourse and ejaculation. Well, that makes sense. If you've got scro a scrotum that is hanging real low and it's real dangly, I could see how that could potentially get in the way and maybe even be fairly uncomfortable. It can also stop scrotal tissue from getting displaced in athletic clothing or even being trapped in a bicycle seat. And that sounds real painful. So if that scrotum is so big and it's dangly, could you get it caught in different things? Oof, the thought just makes... Uh, makes me kind of shiver. And the final benefit of a scrotoplasty is that it reduces the need to hold the testicles when using the toilet to avoid scrotal contact with the water. Can you imagine how hard it would be as a guy if your scrotum was so droopy that when you sat on a public toilet that your scrotum would actually dip into the toilet water? I honestly don't know if I can think of anything more disgusting than that. Scrotoplasty is a bit of an unusual surgery. I've never actually heard of it being done, but it actually does make some sense for the right patient. Well, now we're moving to the penis. And what do men want with their penis? They want it to be bigger. So we're starting out with penile filler injections. And we can inject filler like Restylane or Juvederm off-label into the penis to make the penis bigger. So how it works is you're essentially adding volume to the penis, and this adds to the girth, how wide the penis is. And it can maybe add a touch of length to it, but not by a lot. Now these are the same fillers that are used in the face and other parts of the body. They typically last anywhere from six months at the shortest to about two years at the longest. You need to keep in mind that this is considered off-label, meaning that it has not necessarily been tested by the FDA for this use. Because theoretically, the worst thing that can happen if you undergo injections of filler into your penis is that that filler can create an intravascular injection and therefore create a clotting of some of the blood vessels of your penis. When a filler is accidentally injected into a blood vessel and it clogs that blood vessel up, any body part that is supplied blood by that blood vessel can necrose, meaning that it can turn black and it can die and it can fall off. Now, I actually did a literature search to see, are there any actual cases of intravascular injection of filler into a penis 
causing a penis to necrose or to basically die. And I haven't found any actual cases of that, but that doesn't mean that it is not possible. Injecting filler into the penis may make sense for the right patient, but keep in mind there are risks with any treatment like this, and you want to make sure you find the right doctor for you. And make sure that doctor uses some numbing cream first. While injecting filler can make your penis look wider, it will not necessarily make it look much longer. And the way that doctors lengthen the penis is a little bit scary. And it typically involves cutting the suspensory ligament of the penis, which is a ligament on the top surface of the penis, allowing the penis to actually get a little bit longer. But the other thing that is usually done in order to prevent that ligament from healing back together or contracting back together is you attach weights to the penis sometimes 10 pounds or more to prevent that ligament from healing together and to stretch the penis out a bit more. And this is a principle we call tissue expansion. If you chronically stretch out the skin, that skin will eventually stay stretched out. Now this is not a surgery that I have performed or I've even seen performed or even heard of being performed in any of the hospitals that I've worked at, but I do know that this is something that's being done. Now cutting the suspensory ligament of the penis is a therapeutic procedure for certain male patients who have issues with their penis. But to do it on a purely cosmetic basis is a whole other deal. Penis lengthening surgeries are not procedures that are commonly done. So if you can be happy with your life and with your sex life without doing it, that is probably for the best. While these cosmetic procedures are quite eye-opening, they're not necessarily the most shocking being done in plastic surgery. Take a peek at this video right up here where I go over some of the most insane cosmetic surgeries being performed today. These will blow your mind. And if you've been enjoying my videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel and always remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.